Peace and blessings to everybody out there. Welcome back to the Fake Woke Podcast. This is your boy, Bobby Vell, and I'm back with another episode. This is episode 41. Okay, just random. Low key, since I've been getting uh, shadow banned recently, ever since the, uh, the election, um, I had to check my Instagram and my YouTube to see, you know, what episode I'm on because occasionally I forget what episode I be on. And your boy thought Instagram took down one of my videos because my video, uh, my recent video didn't pop up. I just thought that was funny, but it's there. But anyway, um, let's get right into it. Uh, uh, immunity certificates, immunity passports. Um, I touched on this like episode 32, almost 10 episodes ago. Uh, I touched on immunity passports and how they will be using them for sports events, concert events, um, you know, like the sneaker, the cons and all types of shit, anime expos and whatnot. They're going to be using the immunity passports or immunity certificates for access or to indicate your health status to see if you either been tested for uh, the vid, if you have a negative test when it comes to the vid, or if you have been, you know, received the vax for the vid. Um, I've already touched on this. Um, but the thing is, I didn't mention which uh, tech uh, which tech companies, excuse me, I didn't, uh, I didn't mention the tech companies that would be participating in this, you know, development of these apps. So IBM will be one, uh, Common Pass will be one, and Clear will be one. Those three companies got a stranglehold on the development of these uh, apps that will show the, show your health status when it comes to the world reopening. Because as of right now, airlines are actually rolling out the, um, you know, the beta test. Uh, United is doing it. JetBlue is doing it. Uh, Kathy Pacific is doing it. Qantas is doing it, if I'm not mistaken. And a couple of other airlines are participating in this whole vid um awareness thing for the most part um they require you to have a negative uh vid test if you understand what i'm saying and eventually since the the virus has touched down the virus has touched down um they will re they will be requiring don't be surprised if they require uh vax results it will come because for the most part, IBM Clear and Common Pass developed the app to where you will receive your test status. Not only your test status, but you will be able to receive um, not the results of your of your vax, but the fact that you've been vaxxed. Ladies and gentlemen, we are entering a world where you will more than likely you will not be able to participate in society if you do not have these two things on your app. Now, for the most part, the reason why they're going towards tech is because it's a bit harder to um, forge or to counterfeit your results. Now, see, if you go with, let's say, um, in 1960, they had the yellow fever outbreak, the yellow fever outbreak, um, what happened with that was you needed a yellow card. That is basically your proof of vax. That means you have received medicine for to prevent you from catching the yellow fever. That's That was in the 1960s. And even now, traveler, some travelers still need to have documentation of the yellow, uh, of the yellow card. So they're trying to go away from that because those could be counterfeited. Those can be forged and they're going towards tech to where you will have to go through these tech companies, download your, your status, and then you'll be, in, be able to enter certain restaurants or work for certain restaurants or work for certain jobs. And the same thing for sports 
events, the same thing for concert events, the same thing for a lot of things that are that that have yet to come. So as you can see, me just using this, the, the 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 yellow fever, it's been um, done before. It's, same thing with the smallpox and small and the smallpox vac vaccine. They were shooting people up with, a, if I'm not mistaken, a cancerous chemical that did call, later on down the line cause cancer. So we're heading towards this this technological society to where it'll deem you worthy of entering certain places, and that's the problem to me because it's like. It's, I, I ain't even going to call it a Jim Crow era, but it's more like you're discriminating against people due to the fact that they have, have, or have not received a vax, uh, I mean, a vax. That's just what it is, you know? Like, you're discriminating against these people because they did not want to take your medication, your rushed medication, and you got doctors out here talking about, well, like, you don't you don't have to worry about the the vax being you know rushed this that and the third go take the vax go take the vax of course you're gonna sit there and promote people to go take the vax because you more than likely gonna get paid from these companies that's pushing this vax you feel me why you think they put a a a, a, a black woman as the face of developing the vax you see what I'm saying? It's all to entice, especially black people, to go out here and to take this medicine, not knowing what it can cause. And I've already brought that up before. So it's just like we're, again, we're, people don't like to compare it to the Tuskegee experiment, but it's the fucking Tuskegee experiment. You can't tell me it's not because this medicine has, has yet to be to be um, fully proven to work. Secondly, you 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 pulling out all the stops to get black people to to jump first to jump in front of the line and take this vaccine. Secondly, now you got Mike Pence talking about he's gonna take the vaccination. Now you got Joe, uh, Joe Biden talking about he's gonna take the vaccination, and a couple of other high profile uh, high profile politicians talking about they're going to take the vaccination. The next thing that's going to happen is you're going to have a lot of celebrities go out here and start advocating for the vax. That's what's going to happen. And it's going to happen really soon, probably next week. You're going to start seeing more celebrities talking about, yes, go take the vax. Go take the vax. If I were you, I'll go take the vax. Lupe Fiasco, a weird ass, is already doing it. And we are, all you got to do is go do your research on him. He's already been, he's already being paid by Bill Gates. I don't trust nothing the Gates Foundation push out. I don't trust nothing that Fauci back because Fauci dropped the ball on the swine flu during the Obama administration. So why are we trusting this man? That's my whole thing. You feel me? That's my whole thing. So it's just like, it's, it, it's just. Not even a sticky situation. You just see, you see what's going on. You for sure see what's going on right now. It's a push to get people up under their their little spell right now, and it's so hard of a push that you can clearly tell that these people are just saying that they're gonna do something or saying that they promote something just to get the common people to jump to jump on the bandwagon. You feel me? And like to be honest, like I hear people talk about, well, no, I'm not gonna take the first round of rounds of the uh, of the vax. I understand that, but me personally, I'm saying don't take it regardless because, in my personal opinion, they keep talking about we need to slow the spread. You need to wear your mask, blah blah blah, whatever, whatever. We've been doing this for how many months, and we still see no curve in the the coronavirus cases. We still don't see no no slowing down of the so-called spread you want to know why because you cannot slow the spread down the only way you're going to be able to slow the spread down is if in my personal opinion everybody catch it and that's what's going to happen you're going to eventually catch this shit i know right scary you eventually going to catch this shit because now it's starting to become more apparent that if you look at 
every other ca category from influenza to heart disease, everything is dropping drastically and COVID keeps fucking rising, skyrocketing. It makes it makes no sense at all. It literally makes no sense. Now you could take that to your favorite physician, do whatever the do do whatever the hell you need to do. Um, and have them explain it to you. Why are these categories dropping and COVID keeps skyrocketing? Because they mislabeling a lot of these so-called coronavirus deaths. Deaths aren't coronavirus deaths. We already know that. We already know that uh, a lot of these tests are inaccurate when they're giving off false negatives or false positives. We already know that. So why am I going to trust your vax? Why am I going to succumb to your fear mongering bullshit? You pushing this, pushing this shit on me when I know that your your numbers are skewed. The the fucking vax, the, I mean the the vax probably gonna give you gonna gonna give you some type of fucking defect. Um, uh, when it comes to the cases, the uh, I already said the cases, but when it comes to the tests, the tests are skewed. The tests are inaccurate. So it's just like, why should I trust you? That's my whole thing. Why should I trust you? And we already know Big Farmer, Big Farmer is not pushing no cure because there's no money in the cure. You see what I'm saying? It's no money in the cure. They gonna constantly give you medicine in order to fix, in order to fix the defects or the the side effects. I mean, the side effects that the previous medicine gave to you. So there's no money in the cure. There's only money in pushing sickness, and that's that's my opinion. That's why they're not telling you to go outside and exercise. That's why they're not telling you that vitamin C, zinc, and vitamin D, taking black seed oil, taking uh, taking sea moss is the way to go to boost your immune system. That's why they're not telling you that shit. You want to know why they're not telling you that shit? Because there's more money in you being constantly sick. There's more money in, in, in the fact that you're being unhealthy. That's where the fucking bread is. That's where they make their money at. Do not trust these westernized doctors because all they get paid to do is push medicine. Not a lot of them get paid to actually heal people. And that's for a fact. Let's 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 stop putting our trust in these people, regardless if they black or not. All skin folk and kin folk, you're gonna learn that shit the hard way. Cause your own people will rob your ass blind too. But that's all I gotta say. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share my content, please, and thank you to everybody out there. And um, make sure y'all stay safe, man. Stay safe, stay healthy.